more and more we are seeing viral videos popping up on every social media like Twitter that is pretty much basically uh, done on Google VO3 and takes you one minute and one prompt to do this type of videos. And people are getting crazy about it uh, from ads to storytelling to animation. What used to spend like a lot of dollars, thousands of dollars to, to have an agency to produce these videos. Now you can do it with Google VO3 for really cheap, sometimes even for free. And I'll show you how to do it as well. But one thing also that is super trending right now is what people call JSON prompting, which technically people are claiming that makes the video better. It can create cinematic ads and you know the, the level of videos that these agencies were charging thousands of dollars to it. And in this video, I wanna share with you what is this JSON prompting, some examples of videos that you can create, what is trending right now, and how can you reverse engineering this prompt to put on ChatGPT or on Cloud, he can learn the structure and then create the same type of structure for your videos that you can create on a high, high level. Uh, if you don't know me and if you're not subscribed to our channel, my name is Rui Sos. I'm one of the founders of the AI Break newsletter. We have more, almost 90,000 people all inside our AI newsletter. We talk AI every single week. So if you're not there, just consider subscribing. It's free and it's down below, of course, on the description. But in this video, I'm really, really excited, guys, because this is a, a huge trend right now. It will be a trend next year. So if you learn about AI videos, if you learn about Google VO3 prompting and JSON prompting, uh, it can be a really high paying skill uh, just for you to create for yourself uh, content or to create to others and sell it as a service. But as I said, the key that everybody's talking about is what is JSON prompting and why it makes the videos way better. And again, I will just want to share with you first a couple of examples, if you don't saw it, that videos are going viral on Twitter and other social platforms. This one is the Tesla ad, as you guys can see here, which is really, really cool, guys. And again, it takes a minute to do this type of ad, in this case for the Tesla one, that used to take dozens of days to create and thousands and thousands of dollars. And here for an eight second Google VO3 video that probably was free, someone just create an amazing ad for Tesla, right? So this is getting really, really viral on the internet a couple of months ago. And the other example that I wanna share with you is for example, the Ikea box that everybody was talking about that was getting really, really crazy as well is this one here, I'll share with you. And the quality is really good, guys. I downloaded these videos in like the highest quality possible. And as you can see, it's really good, guys. And this is basically a box popping out and creating the, the room. So imagine the amount of use cases that you can do with Google VO3. Imagine the click, the cost per click going down on your ads because you are making something professional that not a lot of people were able to do for their brands. And now you can do it with Google VO3, right? Which is really cool. I will share a couple of more examples before I show you how to do this. But for example, you have the, the Corona app, which someone just made it uh, on social media, which is really cool as well. Just a party with Corona, which is really cool. And the last one that I wanna share to you is just the two that are really cool. One of them is a container that then pops out as a New York City. You can see here, really cool as well. Imagine the use case, like you can do this as a TikTok faceless channel and just do for every single city, the same prompt, and you just change the city, which is really cool. And last but not least is the Uber Eats ad that actually have, uh, in this case, a fox talking. Kind of craving That's sesame it. noodles. One sec. Uber Eats, order, drop here, done. Perfect which timing. Is really cool, Back right? to the set. Uh, and imagine like this takes seconds to make, and most of the times it's probably free, and I'll show you how to use Google View for free. And it probably has more clicks, more engagement than just a normal ad, right? And as I said, the use cases are huge. You can do this as storytelling, animations, video ads for brands as well, and even sell it. So what it is, Jason, and how can you, why the people are talking about. So basically, Jason uh, formatting is this example here, see here, is basically, Jason, uh, if you guys don't know it, is basically a format or a language that it's easy for platforms like ChatGPT and, and coding platforms to understand. It's like a more general uh, language for them that it can translate really easy and they know uh, it's a more structured way, it's more concise and precise. So a platform like ChatGPT understands better the JSON format. 
just a quick note here, guys, because I'll probably have some people in the comments saying, oh, uh, JSON format, yeah, there's a lot of discussion right now. Like people say that this JSON prompting is way better, that you should always do prompting like this. You see that is more structured with all these codes in here. Uh, even if you put on ChatGPT, I put it here like why JSON prompt is better so for you guys can see it. And uh, of course it says high precision and clarity, consistency and rep uh, reproducibility is more API friendly. But the question here, and this is my opinion, again, it can differ from people to people, but I don't think JSON prompting is different of having a concise and clear prompt, like a normal prompt, right? The main difference is that when you say to ChatGPT, I want to create, for example, a Tesla ad in a, in a studio with a car in the middle, but do it in a JSON format. What happened is ChatGPT knows what JSON format is, so it forced them to create this kind of structure, which is a little bit more structured. ChatGPT will, will think like, what are the steps? What is the ambience? What is the description? What is the style? What is the camera? But it's the same thing if you create a prompt saying, Hey, make me a Tesla, but please tell me and divide it by description, divide by style, camera, lightning. You know what I mean? Like, so the, the thing that everybody's hyped about, like, oh, JSON prompting is the best way to do it, is the same thing as you do a proper prompt. The only difference, as I said, is that if you don't want to take the time to be super detailed, if you don't know how to prompt properly, if you add the word and if you ask ChatGPT or Claude to make it in a JSON format, it simply improves the prompt by itself because again this structure which is the json format is already like chatgpt already know that it needs to be by items by consistency by keywords by you know frames all that stuff and that's why people are getting crazy about json prompting but the the difference is just like that is because json is a more concise and clear way of putting the data on this platform but again if you take the time to create a super in-depth and detailed prompting, you don't need these kind of like weird, uh, you know, signals and all that stuff. But again, it's nice to know that if you are uncertain about, and if, for example, I just want to say, I want to create an ad about a Porsche or a Ferrari in a beach, for example, I can probably, it's better for me to say, make me in a JSON format uh, because he will divide and will be better. That's the thing, okay? But, as I said, that's the main benefit of using JSON prompting, just is more clarity and more concise. One thing you can do is basically, there is two things you can do. You can just go to Cloud and ChatGPT, okay? And you can go to Twitter, for example, and if you search on Twitter, uh, JSON uh, VO3 or JSON prompts, there is a bunch of them, right? People are sharing the prompts on Twitter. So just go to Twitter, if you click on, you see here, I already put it here for example, the IKEA one, everybody's sharing, we say prompt below. If you open up the thread, you'll see the prompt here. You see here? So what I recommend to you guys is that if you want to create, first of all, just go to Twitter and check. I put IKEA one, but if I remove this, you can see so many videos right now popping up. So just find the one that you like that you can replicate what you want to do, right? If I like the container, maybe I want to do for Paris or I want like a, a, a Nike, shoe to come out of the container, probably I'll be using this one. So just scroll down, there is a bunch, as you can see here, a bunch of prompting that you can grab it. And basically what you can do is that you grab a prompt of this, one of these, and then you go to ChatGPT or Claude, paste the prompt and just say to them, uh, please learn this JSON VL3, Google VL3 format, because I want to create videos in there. And basically what you're saying is that for ChatGPT to take a look of a good prompt, right? and learn from it. So then you can ask them like, okay, instead of the, you know, in New York doing for Paris, instead of uh, the box of Ikea, instead of going through a room, it can go to a garage, for example, or it can pop up some sneakers, whatever it is. And even if you don't want anything of that, it's better for you to give an example and then say, hey, I want to create a, a video on VL3 uh, of a Porsche or a Ferrari uh, going down the street and then the logo pops out but do it on a JSON format, like similar to the example that I gave you. In that case, ChatGPT will know at least that needs maybe a style, a camera, a lightning, a room, you know what I mean? Like it knows the, all the specifications to create a really good ad. So that's what everybody's doing right now. It's just picking up other people prompt, put it on ChatGPT and say, hey, learn from these examples. And then you can create as many videos as you want, okay? So that's what I would recommend is just go to Twitter, grab the ones that you like, and you can put it here and say, you can start by saying, 
uh, learn this video VO3 prompt in JSON format, for example, and then you can continue talking with, with the ChatGPT. As you can see here, I've learned blah, 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 all that stuff, it gives me the same thing. So now I can just continue talking and you can do the same on Claude. Or one thing you can do is also create a project. If you have the, the, the pro version of Claude and so on, create a project, just put like 10 examples there of prompt, and then you can just talk with the project because he already knows all the examples that you gave to that, right? So that's the thing that I will do, guys. If you wanna create really good videos, just go to Twitter, grab like 10 examples, then speak directly to ChatGPT, or you can just create a project here or a project in Claude, right here, and just add the examples there and he will know it, right? So that's pretty much it, guys. That's what people are, you know, talking about and just tweaking because then I can pick this one and say, hey, don't put Ikea, put another brand. I don't want a box, I want, I don't know, any other type of item in there, right? Like you can grab something that you like and then just, you know, teach ChatGPT and Claude on the structure and then that's how a lot of people can do it consistently. Because the cool thing about JSON prompting, again, the same thing if you do like a super in-depth prompt, but it knows exactly like the elements, the room, the lighting. So if I want to just change IKEA for another brand, everything else is the same or pretty similar, the videos will be really similar. The only thing that changed is actually the logo and the box or whatever it is, right? Uh, so that's how you can do it consistently as well, because Again, this format is just more clear, have more clarity for uh, the prompt and the LMM, right? So that's pretty much it, guys, okay? That's how you do it, the JSON prompting, and you just put it on project on ChatGPT and Cloud, and you create a really amazing video that I show you here, like the Tesla one, the Ikea one, and so on, right? Uh, just to finish, how you can get, if you don't know how to do it on VO3 and what I'm talking about, I want to give you two examples on how to do this. So the first one is that if you go to labs on Google and you go for Google or search for Google Flow on Google, you can actually subscribe here. And here is where I do the projects of the videos, right? You can also do it on Gemini. I prefer Google Flow, but whatever it is, the only thing you need to do is on Google Flow, you subscribe with a Gmail. And then what you can do is that you can actually subscribe to the pro version you see here and for free for a month. So you just put like a, a virtual card in there and it will count a month. You can even cancel right after you, you upgrade to Pro. It will give you the entire month as well. And what it gives you as well is a thousand credits, right? And if you use the, um, the VO3, right? I'll, let me share you this one here that I did with a new balance shoe, which is really cool. Uh, but basically, if you do the with the VO3 fast, which is this one module here, it costs you 20 credits. So you have a thousand, so you have a lot of stuff you can do. You can reutilize, if I click here on the, on the right side, reutilize the same prompt, so it's more consistent. And I just click enter and he will create the, the new video and they, they are by project. So you can do it here on Google Apps. You just go to Google VO3, put your Gmail, upgrade to Pro, put a virtual card, then cancel, you get one month for free with a thousand credits and then can use it like this. The other thing you can do, is um, using a software or in this case a program called for example fall.ai I don't know if you already saw some videos about it but this is just a, a site with all the videos uh, models all the sound models everything in there and you can sign up put some credit some money in here and you can actually now use you can just look for Google Vio and you'll see here um, if I put VO, you'll see that they also already have the VO3 fast. So you have the VO3, which is more expensive. So I recommend the VO3. And you can even click here and you can see that uh, it costs you, a five second video will cost you $2 with audio. If you don't want audio, it will be a little bit cheaper. But as I said, this is if you want to take this seriously. If you have some money to play around, you can actually use the VO3 Fast and Google VO inside of this full AI uh, website and have all the modules, even all clings and all that stuff if you want to test other models as well. But again, to start with, I'll just go to Google Apps, subscribe for um, for Upgrade to Pro for one month, just test it out. Like it's a ton of some credit, there's a lot of things to do. And again, if you have a business, you can do ads for you, you can do faceless YouTube or on TikTok channels and just grow like crazy and monetize after that. So there is so many use cases, guys, for these that is just on the beginning right now. Like it's still 
a couple of errors on video, it still takes you some time to make the same video one, two, three times because uh, yeah, it takes some time to actually perfect the video, but when you get the prompt right, there is so many things you could do, so many use cases of ads and and so on, right? So that's pretty much it, guys. That's how using JSON prompting. Um, just check the videos again. I'll, I'll put the videos as well on the Tesla one, IKEA, and all that. That you can see it. And reverse engineering the prompt. So grab the prompt, Matthew, put you on a platform like ChatGPT. Tell them to learn. Uh, the, the, the JSON prompting and then you can create as many stuff and again always use Twitter and Reddit for inspiration you just search for VO3 and you find dozens and dozens of examples that you can just copy and paste the prompt and change to your own examples uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video guys if you are not subscribed just please subscribe and smash the like button of course for the algorithm if you like it of course and if you like for more videos like this just follow us around and I'll see you on the next video